Man, the rumors out the rumors out there is that you're gonna have Terrence Crawford in October. Well, I mean, uh, there's a lot of rumors out there, you know. But like I said, I'm I train. Like I said in my previous interview, you know, I'm training for for whoever they put in front of me. I don't care who it is, you know. I want to fight the best of the best. I've been wanting to fight Crawford for two, three years now, and uh, it hasn't happened. So if it happens, I'm gonna come out victorious and I'm gonna beat him. So that's what we're gonna keep doing, training, training hard, and keep winning fights. Well, we've seen you've had a couple run-ins with them in a weigh-in in um, Texas um, earlier. This I, you know, year. I've, I've had a couple run-ins with them, you know, but. Uh, that's what it is. Boxing is boxing. He's gonna be always, obviously he's gonna be trash talking. I don't take nothing from him. He's a great fighter. But like I said, if I fight him, I'm gonna beat him. And that's what we're gonna do. You know, we're gonna keep training hard and hopefully get these big fights. A lot of people have him pound for pound number one. So you want to go to to the top? Looks like. You know, a lot of people. I see the comments. I read the comments. A lot of people say that he'll beat me. He'll stop me. But what they don't, they, what they don't understand, and what they don't realize is, I'm the bigger fighter. I'm the natural 147. He came from 35, 30, 35. You know, I'm a natural 147 pounder, and I feel like I'm stronger. And I know I'll beat him. I'll but class him. I'm better. So you've had two fights since you um, had your hand injury. Yeah, How did it feel? actually, I had uh, my leg injury. You know, uh, the doctor told me I was Did never... your hand too? I've had yeah. I've, I've had, had quite. Both. I've had a, quite a few problems throughout my career. You know, I messed up my hand. I pretty much fought nine fights with just one hand. I would I would always break it, but everything's good now. You know, and I got shot in my leg, as a, a lot of people may know. You know. What do you think about the last performance of Crawford with her? His last performance, like I said, I mean, he's a good fighter. I don't take nothing from him, but like I said, if they put me in front of him, I'm going to beat him, and that's what I'm going to do. A lot of people are saying that he's going to beat me, but I'm bigger, I'm bigger, and I'm stronger. So, like I said, we train to win, and that's what we keep doing. Just from my last fight, a lot of people said that this guy was going to beat me. He was 22 and over 21 knockouts. Then I beat him in the first round, I stopped him. Then they say, oh, he's a nobody. But before I fought him, he was going to beat me. Then I beat him all of a sudden, he's a nobody. Like I said, I don't, I don't care who they put in front of me. I want to fight the best of the best, and that's what I'm going to keep training for. A lot of people look at you like an underdog. You feel like an underdog at that point? I mean, I could, a lot of people think, you know, they see me as an underdog against Crawford, but I'm going to show the world that I'm, I am the top elite fighter at 147, and I'm going to beat him. Who is the kid for me Crawford? I mean, there's a lot of ways to beat Crawford. You just have to wait and see when I fight him. He's in there, too. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> so Perfect. you might be able to say hello to Perfect, him. yeah. I'd love to say hello to him. <laughs> what do you think about Mikey fighting Earl Spence? I mean, it's going to be a great fight. You know, Mikey Garcia is a fucking tremendous fighter. Tremendous fighter. Earl Spence is a tremendous fighter. It's going to be a hell of a fight. It's a good fight. And Porter and Danny Garcia? You can walk into them. Um, it's going to be a great fight, too. You know, they're, 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 they're great fighters, both of them. So make the best man win. I want to bless God bless both of them. You know, wish them the best. So You're like in the hottest division in boxing. Yeah. And I want to fight the best, so I'm in the hottest division, and I want to fight the best. So that's what we, we're here to do. We're here to train. We're here to we train to win. That's what we're gonna keep doing. When you first came out, you were this hot 17-year-old prodigy. I remember they made a special exemption, I think, for you in Vegas to fight under being under 18 years old. And then it seems like the last, I'd say, since you're, you were shot, you, you kind of like forgot what to say, or like people are starting to underestimate you. What do you I mean, it? it is what it is. People can say what they want to say. I know what I'm capable of. And, you know, I got shot. The doctor said I was never going to fight again. And it was going to take me two years to walk. I came back a year later, stopped the guy in the eighth round. Came back again for my last fight. Stopped the guy in the first round. A guy that everyone thought I was gonna, that was going to beat me. So, I mean, people can say what they want to say. But at the end of the day, I'm going to win whoever they put in front of me. What do you want to tell your fans out there? I just want to thank everyone that's been out there supporting me. My brother, Team Benavides. Thank you guys. God bless you guys. And we're going to keep winning. Thank you very much. You're looking